Our use of location conforms to typical settings of dystopian films being urban settings. Along with trying to conform to this convention, we chose to use trains, schools and towns so that our storyline was designed to be realistic and to make our target audience feel that something similar could happen to them. This was effective as it made the audience feel on edge and vulnerable. A convention typically used in dystopian films is the idea of strict divisions of society. We were inspired by citizens being di divided into separate districts in the Hunger Games. This is prevalent in our film trailer, where teenagers are becoming isolated from the rest of society. The plot of our story involves a pandemic outbreak of an unknown disease, leading to a disruption in society. We were inspired by the extinction of fertility in children of men that led to disruption in the society. This conforms to conventions of the dystopian genre due to a disaster leading to the current state in the dystopian society. Conventionally, the state is disruption and fear, which is evident in our trailer. We use shots from lots of different angles, as well as close-ups and extreme close-ups of the victims to create tension and help portray emotions that link to our narrative. During dystopian films, futuristic elements are clearly a crucial element. Therefore, we ensured that we stay true to this. Through the use of new technology, we developed the idea of a scanning device to register pupils into assembly. This conformed to the convention of futuristic technology in which we were inspired by Black Mirror. When researching into dystopian films, we noticed they usually consist of wide or establishing shots to set the scene and show disruption in society. We reflected this in our trailer through the use of including a montage. We gradually increased the pace of our shots and intensified the music. We also included a combination of both the past and the present day in the montage to increase the tension and make the audience reflect on the state of disruption the disease has caused. The use of including a juxtaposition of happy and warm flashbacks with present day shots that are in cold colour tones was effective as it helped target our audience's emotions. A typical convention that we conform to is the idea of pursuing love that society or authority figures are prohibiting. We were inspired by the film The Lobster, where the two protagonists defy society's rules of how love should be performed. It's no coincidence that the targets are shaped like single people and not couples. In our film, love is prevented as all teenagers are unable to touch. However, throughout the film, they're trying to break through obstacles in pursuit of love. Through our, through our narrative, we challenged the codes and conventions of dystopian films. Usually, governments are shown as evil and controlling, in which citizens fear. This is present in A Clockwork Orange. Unlike other dystopian films, our media product doesn't conform to this convention, as we did not feature the government as an antagonist or corrupt. We challenge this by opening our trailer with a voiceover from a news broadcast, explaining how the government is trying to stop disruption in the society and prevent fear.